destroyed our civil service and our public service because we are always thinking about appointing chief directors there and then going with the chief directors and it politicizes the whole arrangement. But elsewhere, the civil service is staffed by career officials. Go to Italy and other countries that believe in coalition government. Coalition government easily crumbled. And Italy, for instance, the country itself can run for about three months without ministers, without government. When coalitions are abandoned, the country itself runs. Why? Because they have career public and civil servants who know which policies were being implemented and they can continue without ministers. It is because we have destroyed our public service and our civil service. That's why regimes try to create and appoint new civil service when they come. The number of ministers would continue to be high so long as we do not trust our civil service. So you create more of them. Because, I mean, if you've studied the work of the civil service, you ask yourself, what at all do ministers know that they were not taught by the civil servants? Honorable Mustafa Hamid is here. I'm sure he went to the communications ministry and you met people there. They have been there probably even before you were born. And they've done the work and they know how it starts and how it ends. So when you go there, you sit on their laps and they advise you. I've seen a minister talking to him and said, well, this one I have to find out from um, those who are here, the, the career officials. And so if it is always going to find out from them, why do you need one minister and three deputies? What do they know that they were not taught by the system? We appoint so many of them as a way of creating our own civil service. Why? Because we don't trust them. We don't trust the civil servants. They are all staffed by NDC cadres or MPP apparatchikis. We can't trust them. So you have one minister, and then you have his deputies, and then you have the advisors to them. You have con they have consultants, and they have advisors to the consultants. All of them are being paid by the state. Whilst the public servants and civil servants continue to go to work every day without doing anything, and every month they receive salary, pretending to be working, government pretending to be paying them.